Well, if you are following the situation in Maui right now, officials say they will hold a news conference at three o'clock in the morning, our time uh, about those wildfires burning in Maui. And you've got some insight into that fire. Yeah, obviously just an unfortunate situation. I, I've been to that town with it, that, that it went through. It's yeah. a beautiful town. You sit right on the uh, shoreline there and eat wow. dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever. And you know, just look out at the ocean and some of the pictures out of there just insane and just north of there is kind of the big stretch of where all the uh, resorts are yeah and I mean you know it's horrible that it happened there but thankfully it didn't you know go through the resort area either um, but yeah kind of some interesting atmospheric conditions all coming together kind of unfortunately it's sort of a perfect storm to create that high fire danger across uh, the uh, Hawaii area so first things first is we had Hurricane Dora now Hurricane Dora a strong hurricane is category four storm with wind speeds of 145 miles an hour but it's well away from the islands. I mean, it's not like it made landfall or anything like that. It was obviously maybe a little bit closer when all this happened uh, yesterday, but it's still, you know, within view of Hawaii. So there it is, Hurricane Dora. The winds associated with that storm were quite strong, kind of out of the northeast, but it wasn't just that. There was this area of high pressure up to the north and kind of between the high pressure and low pressure, kind of squeezed the air, made it speed up a little bit more. And so Hawaii was sandwiched kind of right in between that high and the low, increased the wind speeds and uh, created the uh, strong winds that drove those fires uh, in Hawaii and the ones that are still ongoing in portions of the area and also the drought situation. So here's all the the islands and you can see the drought classification. I mean, the big island, no drought there across the other islands out near uh, Honolulu, nothing happening. But as we zoom into Maui, we can see most of the island under moderate drought and even along the coastline here, severe drought. So things were already dry. You had the strong winds and all it took was a spark or whatever started those fires. And unfortunately, we saw the results from that. Now,